Hi guys, it's again me. Today I would like to speak about contracts. Contracts between you and between the builder. Maybe you can have a contract between anyone, but today it's about the builder and you. And the reason is why I'm saying that, because we've been in a difficult situation. We had our first two builders, which we didn't have a proper contract with them, and uh, it didn't help us, help us at all. First builder destroyed our bathrooms and the kitchen tiles, and uh, it was because of that, because we didn't want to pay him the remaining balance of £2,000, which, which was ridiculous, because a lot of things which he'd done were wrong. He was lying to us, and it was crazy. But it happened. Next builder, he'd done the job, but he didn't do it properly. Again, he screwed some, screw some holes into the pipes, and uh, we finished to call the emergency plumber because we had already a tenant moving on Tuesday and it was Thursday, so there was not much time to do anything. And the emergency plumber wanted three and a half thousand pounds to repair all the things which they were wrong in the house. And it was crazy. And uh, only lucky us that we didn't pay him the full balance straight away after we finished the work. So firstly, if somebody finished the work, I would give you, maybe give the house two weeks to see if everything is how it's supposed to be because some things you'll discover a little bit later. But another thing is what we do, we have a now contract. So another property which we were refurbishing, so the, re the refurb cost was 3,300. We said, okay, we will give you 3,300, but in a free installments of 1,100 in each installment. Always when you finish some job, will come, will inspect the house, and everything is how it's supposed to be. We'll pay you £1,100 after another inspection and the last final inspection, if the house is how it's supposed to be, and everything is how, what he's supposed to do, and everything is done up to the standard, we'll give him the remaining balance. But everything is written in the simple contract between him, builder, and us as the as investors. And now we know that we are in a secure side because if something happened and he doesn't finish the job, we just do not gonna pay him because we had the contract. So we make sure you have a contract in place, even if you trust the person and everything, because you never know what's gonna happen and if he'll turn the bag on you or not. So this is my advice for today. Have a contract. And if you need one, an example, I can send you our simple one, but it's simple as that, just write some word document, put there what you are expecting, where you are expecting the payments to be made, to who was the company, and so on and so on. It's very simple and straightforward. That'll be everything for today. Have a great day and please like the video, put, put the like, subscribe, whatever you have to do, do it. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye bye.